Teradata has been doing data warehousing for decades. And this has given them a huge advantage. The parsing engine has learned from mistakes it's made in the past, and it's gotten smarter. It's called the optimizer. It always uses the best plan from a cost perspective. What will cost me the least? Now, take a look at this example here. We're joining customer table to order table, and we've been doing that, and it's the same situation. Oh, the customer table's primary index is customer number. The order table's primary index, order number. Yet, we're going to join on customer number equals customer number. So as we've learned, you're probably saying to yourself, they're going to have to take those millions of rows and redistribute that order table by customer number, but the parsing engine says, stop. I've looked at the statistics that you collected. I know that this customer table only has four rows and this order table has millions. I've got a better plan than that. We have to get the rows on the same amp. Isn't that correct? Yes, it is. So what I want you to do is amps. First go out and give me all of the customers and the amps return and say there were four rows. And the parsing engine says, now take those four rows and I want you to duplicate those on amp one. Put all four of them on amp one. Amp two, amp three, amp four, all the way to all the amps. If there were a thousand amps, there'd be 4,000 rows in spool for that table. And that's called a duplication. And then, of course, they'll just match the rows with the customers, and it's going to work out perfectly. It's a little bit like cheating, where you go, hey, that's a different way of doing it. And I go, I got the rows that match together on the same amp. I duplicated it to get there, but now that's a beautiful plan. This is called a big table, small table join, and it's going to save enormous time because the parsing engine is really smart. Let's see this join in action. As you can see here, the parsing engine said, I need you to bring your order table blocks amps up into your memory. Don't be moving those millions of rows across that binet. Secondly, I'm going to need you guys to have the duplication of the four customers, and I want you to duplicate that on each amp. And as you can see in amp one, there's my four customers. The rows it held for the order table didn't have to move across the binet, and it's the same with each and every amp. The four customers are there, the millions of rows. We only have four customers, but those four customers have placed a ton of orders, and that's how you join together in a big table, small table scenario. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details. <laughs>